Ah, uh, you're gonna hate me after this video, guys, because today we're gonna do unpopular opinions while you wait on this big movie that I'm making. And yeah, I'm sorry about the hat, but I'm at my Houston-based place, and this is his hat, and he had a really small head. I didn't realize how head small his head is, and I'm like, I can't even fit this on. So the first unpopular opinion I have is that I think it's okay for straight men to say depending on how you use it, okay? If you're gonna go to someone and you try to use it as an insult, then yeah, you deserve to get backhand. But if you say it as a joke, like you call one of your straight friends who's straight AF, A-G-G-A-T, I think the ish is hilarious. I remember a YouTuber, I think it's Mark as a live streamer, these two guys were arguing and he said, you guys are being faggots. Like he did it in such a way that it was just funny. I don't know, I have tried to roll the clip, but I think it's okay to use it. It just really depends how you use it. And as someone, I guess, who's a part of the LGBT, I approve, man. And I think it's okay. Just depends how you say it. I don't think the gay agenda exists. I think that is just bullish that the far right or is it far left? I don't know. I'm confused. I feel like it's the religious group of people that have really pulled this up. And there's some unreligious people out there that are going around saying that there's like this gay agenda to make people gay it's like that doesn't make sense because how did the other people turn gay years ago we didn't have tv and all that i feel that the agenda isn't the sense like that like trying to turn people but i think is to be for people to accept it more like having more um what real life is like if you see a two girls or two boys kissing in the back of a uh, movie or something like that. I don't see the big deal about that. I don't think that's a gender. That's just real life. So why can't movies represent real life and stuff like that? So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think people who feel that there is an agenda feel some type of way because they still deep down don't accept it. Unless you guys can show me some evidence or something like that, I will gladly look into that. Because, hey, maybe it is an agenda out there to depopulize every, the population by making them gay. But I just really highly doubt it. I think that is just all boo-ish. My next one is that I'm not going to take the Vaseline. My body, my choice. If you want to take Vaseline, that is completely up to you. You feel me? I'm not anti-Vaseline's. If you want to take it, you can take it, you know? I just feel like, you know what? Go check out my TikTok and I'll make videos on there. I won't go into more detail about it on here because I don't know. But I'm not taking the Vaseline. I don't feel I should take the Vaseline. And yeah, you can go check out my TikTok. America is really separated. Like, I'm talking about the la not everyone, but the majority. I feel like... Latin Americans want to stick to themselves, Black Americans want to stick to themselves, White Americans want to stick with themselves, Asian Americans want to stick with themselves. It's like, oh my God, you're not Latin, I'm not going to date you. Oh my God, you're not Black, I'm not going to date you because like, you're just, you're totally different. And I feel like people are purposely avoiding the other race because of prejudices that they have or opinions that they have or they have some self of uh, prejudice towards that other race. When I come to America, it's like I have to choose. It's really annoying. It's like, oh, so are you black or you're white? And I'm like, well, technically I'm both. No, you can't be both. Like, are you black? Like, there was this guy. And he obviously looked black, but he obviously looked Greek. And he's actually a lot more paler than me. Like, he doesn't even look tannish, you feel me? So... He, but his hair is very, very, very coarse, tight curls, and his nose has his. He has the feature. His nose has a black. He has a black featured nose, so you know he's got some black in him. Now, other people in America will say, "Oh, well, he's white. He's white. He's not black. He can't claim it." Blah blah blah. blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people love to be separate. Even the gay community loves to be separated. But I'll get into more into that later. But it's like, jeez, like, you really want to, like, pick this person's ethnicity and put everyone in groups. Like, who gives an ish, you feel me? And I feel like America 
Americans are really big on that and subconsciously really big on that and just want to be separated and I'm better than this, they're better than that, they're trash, they're bad, I'm good. Like, it's just really ridiculous and childish. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to pick. It just is. And if you don't F with me, you don't F with me. Bye, Felicia. Like, why should I care, bro? And, um, yeah, it's very interesting how people ask me that. There was a white person that asked me that. I was so shocked. I was like, really? You asked me that? Why are you asking me that? I've never... He's like, everyone asked that in Atlanta. I was like, but why does it matter? Like, it was just really weird. So I'm not going to pick because it doesn't make sense. Like, some people are going to treat me differently of what they perceive me as. Some people perceive me as a mixed boy. Some people perceive me as black. Some people perceive me as white. Everyone treats me differently, so what the f am I? You feel me? So it's like it's just stupid at this point. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you experience this in America, the whole separation thing. Like I noticed, everyone likes to stick to themselves. Like even in the gay community, for example, in Player the Common, the gay people, the straight people, everyone's partying together. No one gives a shit. Like that's what I love about Player the Common. Like some people come and they create gay clubs and stuff like that, and you go and it's like no one there because. Everyone is mingling with each other. You feel me? While it's like pronouns, I'm gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings. I really don't like people insulting my intelligence. If you look like a duck, you look like a duck. You feel me? Now, obviously, if a man changes to be a woman and it looks like a duck meaning it looks like a woman then obviously i'm going to be respectful and be like hey you know um you do have people that you don't know if they're a she like you just p have people that you don't know if they're a boy or a girl you're confused and some people are rude and they go are you a boy or a girl so i'm not like that i'm just like oh i, I would that's when i would use it because i don't know I don't know what you are, but if you look like, um, you know, what's his name, that guy's wife, then obviously I'm going to be like, oh, she, I'm, I, why should I call you them? Like, why are your feelings so damn hurt if I call you them? Um, what else? <laughs> if I don't call you them or call you something else, I just, there's only two genders. I don't believe there's other genders out there. Oh, of course you got people who got both. But, like, there's not, like, a cat, there's no alien names out there, and I just feel it's really annoying when people feel like they're so special and you need to call them this and call you that. It's like, pull your head out of your ass, bro. Like, no. Um, and, yeah, that's just my opinion on it. Like, if you are, like, just because you cut your hair and you look like a stud lesbian, that doesn't mean I should be calling you he for now on. Like, Obviously, you still look like a she, so I just, I really don't care, and I don't understand why people's feelings get hurt over it, and why I should remember all of it, and all this bull crap and sis, and this, like, no, just keep it simple, bro, keep it simple. I'm gonna get dragged, and I really don't care, because guess what, it's my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you feel that you have to call someone a them, or something else that they prefer? Like, let me know in the comment section below. Um, tips in America. I hate giving tips, man. And I really don't see the point. Like, why am I paying your staff's wage? You feel me? It's like these businesses put you in a situation where it's workers versus consumers, customers. And I really don't like that about America. I feel like it's a broken capitalism system. Like... Why should I have to pay the businessman's employees? You should be paying them and you should be paying them a fair wage. There shouldn't be a reason why I should have to pull my money out and tip them extra money when I'm already paying like what? 50 or 30 bucks on this small meal and now you want me because I spend more it means I have to tip more like what type of discrimination is that is because you think I have money I should be tipping more like that could have been my last 30 dollars you don't know that why should I have to tip more money 10 percent of what I gave like I just think that is trash I, I really don't like that I don't like tipping um, I see there's some people making videos like this and they're like crying about it and stuff like that. Well, I'm like, well, bro, if you don't like it, go, maybe 
get a job another job that does well you know there's so much ways to make money and i know people are going to be like martin that's so insensitive but at the end of the day youtube like for example i lost views on this channel which means i'm gonna lose some money right so i can't have a team anymore i can still take care of myself right but let's say i i, I put myself in a situation like if this whole youtube doesn't work out I still don't, I'm, I'm set, you feel me? Because I was smart and put my eggs in other baskets and created assets and things for myself where I don't have to um, rely, you feel me? So it's just, it's like, bro, I don't like tipping. In Australia, you don't have to tip. Everyone gets really good money and they still have really good customer service. People are getting like 20 or 19 bucks an hour and they're a damn waitress, like, why why are waitresses in America getting like three or two dollars? That doesn't make sense to me. That's like really crazy to me, to be honest. But honestly, let me know in the comment section below. Like, do you think you should be tipping? Like, why should you have to tip? Especially Uber. Uber started asking, Uber Eats and Uber Drive started asking for tips. And I'm like, bro, like you already have all these fees. I'm paying all these little fees and now you want me to pay an extra tip? Like, I don't like doing that. I really don't like doing that. If I go out to a restaurant, I shouldn't have to tip you. For what? Your employees should be paying you. So you need to go up your employee's ass instead of my ass trying to get some extra cash. Religion. Religion has been, especially Christianity, has been used to control the masses and to make money. That's what I feel like Christianity and religion is there. And it has it was created years ago and it just spun out to this crazy thing. Now there's different forms of Christianity and stuff like that. There's people with superstition and all that. And it's just gone out of control. But I think religion, Christianity specifically was created to control the masses and to make money off people. I think it's another form of mind control. And I think they're like a part of the Illuminati. <laughs> There are my seven unpopular opinions, guys. Let me know what you think. Okay, guys, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, notification, and I'll see you in my movie. Hopefully, it comes out this weekend. I got a lot of work to do, man. So, yeah. Peace.